Hi everyone, today I'm going to paint this 10 by 10 centimeters square canvas and um, it's really small and I don't have a lot of space to work on so I've decided to use some paint, some probably beeswax and uh, I'd like to try out some mediums and because the, the size is quite small I don't know how much I can um, play with on this size but I'll tell you what I intend to use and if you watch my video you'll know that sometimes I give a list of things and I might not use a few in there and this video will have to be on uh, fast forward mode so this is the canvas and I just have a few um, poster paint and these are just I don't know just normal poster paint there's no make or anything like that I got that from the local um, um, stationery shop for kids so it's called Delta Creative can't remember how much I paid for them but they look nice and opaque so this is they don't even have like a, a name for the color but this would be pink and light blue because this is the tone I want to go for maybe light pink and a bit of light blue, light blue together and I might try some modeling paste um, we'll also use some uh, gold acrylic paint and I got this one from Wilkinson some texture medium you normally use this with uh, watercolor to make your um, paint thicker and um, and it finishes off with a texture finish so with a texture feel to your work so I might add this even though I'm not using watercolor I'm just using a uh, poster paint so that's what I'm gonna do there's some mica flakes some beeswax um, okay ultra thick embossing enamel the UTE Flex UT Flex and I've got my foam brush some water um, this is the encaustic art because um, once I have used this for when I was using beeswax to kind of melt the wax on the surface of the canvas and I think it, I've used it only once, I can't really remember the result but that's what I'm going to be using today then I probably use these swirly vines from the crafters workshop not sure about that but I intend to and then I'm going to be using the crafty individual stems not all of them, maybe some of them I'd like to use the bird cage and this is the CI234 the swirl CI 182 background writing CI 017 and uh, this one is the CI 306 this is one of the latest um, stem set and uh, what I've done I've already mounted onto my my foam and I stamp on the foam and then add the stamp and then I cut around it if you want to see how I do that there's a video on it just check it on my channel and I've just placed everything in a CD case so that's that one and I've got some artificial flowers as well which I might include and then the melting pot with the wax in it so I'm going to start off by letting this melt and then um, go on to paint my canvas and the rest of the video will be on fast forward mode. I hope you will enjoy watching me make this altered canvas.
Okay, so I did leave this overnight to dry and um, the modeling paste now has completely dried up and um, I just want to add some darker color over it just to make it pop and like I've said it's just a, um, an experiment and now I know the next time I'm going to be using the modeling paste you have uh, to leave it to dry um, I was tamping when it wasn't dry and it didn't work it's the texture is soft as a cream so imagine you have some cream spread out and you are trying to stamp into the cream and obviously because the texture is really soft and smooth it doesn't work but if you leave it to dry for a while and when you touch it you can see it's it's dry but it's still a little bit soft that's when you can um, stamp on it and add your impression or draw or whatever so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and um, I'm not sure about the the edging because um, I need to make a nice smooth finish so I think I'm gonna go all over with gold because black probably will be too strong for the kind of look I went for so yeah let's carry on with this <laughs> 